Hey there, welcome to Life Nugget. Noggin, Ah oh, man. It's been a long road from the first single-celled organism to the walking, talking, problem-solving, sometimes, internet-obsessed humans of today. Along the way, our bodies have adapted and evolved to survive in different environments. But some of these changes have led to some noticeable problems. I brought in a friend to help me trash talk humans for a little. He's known for gamifying the animal kingdom over on his channel, and his name is Tirzu. Hey, Blocko. Animator, you didn't give him a face? That's just this channel icon. Just so you know, there's some odd looking character stuck floating through your portal. Oh yeah, don't worry. He'll find his way back to his channel in like a month or so. Anyway, you're one of those squishy meat puppets called humans. You wanna give some insight on how badly the devs mess these characters up? Gladly. Humans are definitely one of the most overpowered creatures to ever walk the earth, but even humans aren't flawless. If we're talking about human problems that desperately need a patch, we have to talk about our backs and internal organs. Transitioning from walking on all fours to just two feet was a huge adjustment to our bodies. Our backs went from being arched with our intestines hanging down and supported by stomach muscles to an S shape in order to simultaneously support our weight and accommodate the birth canal, with our intestines now resting on top of other organs. Not only does this result in back pain from having to support so much weight in a not very sturdy configuration, humans happen to be the only mammals where the vertebrae will spontaneously fracture, but sometimes our intestines will pop out of a weak cavity and create a hernia. Another way our evolution into Homo sapiens made us unique among mammals is the size of our offspring. Human babies are about 6% the size of their mother, while chimp and gorilla babies are around half that. Our bigger brains are a large part of the problem here. In addition to making childbirth more difficult and painful, that's gotta hurt, right? Our bigger heads leave less room for our teeth, which is why many of us need to have our wisdom teeth removed. There are also some traits we have that were once critical, but are now unnecessary. Scientists are still trying to figure out why some traits seem to linger longer than others. In a 2009 study, they looked over 150 years worth of research on the subject, which included over 80 individual animal studies. From their review, they identified a few factors that determine how quickly traits are lost. For example, traits that require a lot of energy to develop or maintain are more quickly phased out, while those requiring major genetic changes take a lot longer. Maybe that could explain why even though we lost our fur, the erector pili muscles in our skin still contract to give us goosebumps when we're cold in a fruitless attempt to warm us up. I guess when your body took 3.5 billion years to get from a single-celled organism to where it is today, annoying or useless traits from eons ago are going to be unavoidable. Honestly, the next human hotfix can't come soon enough. It's been long overdue. Humans too better have even more dogs in it or I'm gonna be very, very disappointed. So what are some human traits you wanna see patched? How can we make humans better? Personally, I would say wings, but that's just me. Let us know in the comment section below. Thank you so much to Tirzu for being a part of this video. He makes incredible videos on the animal kingdom over on his channel. Definitely go there and subscribe and tell him Blocko sent you. As always, my name is Blocko. This has been Life Noggin. Don't forget to keep on thinking.